wasn't long ago that I was like a lot of other people, spending hours every day watching YouTube shorts and Instagram reels. One day though, I decided that I had enough of short form content and finally made the decision to stop for good. I didn't set a timer, do a detox, turn notifications off, or install any apps to lock me out. And in the end, I was able to stop scrolling in about three days. So I hope you find this helpful. Now, when I finally decided to start this, my strategy on what I was going to do was actually different than most. I did not set a timer. I didn't turn off notifications on these apps. What I wanted to do was I wanted to show myself just how useless short form content and doom scrolling really is compared to other things in my life. So what I did for my first day actually was I consumed a crap ton of long form content. Now, this is where I was really lucky, admittedly. I was kind of already doing this. This is when I was kind of really getting into the study tube niche. You know, I was watching a lot of those videos for some reason. And <laughs> those videos are on the longer side. They're usually around like 20 to 30 minutes. So that was fairly easy. And I wanted to kind of keep that as my content that I could use to get value and learn new things because I was learning a lot at the time from those videos. Now, for the entertainment side of things, I decided to actually watch K-dramas. I decided to watch Dr. Slump as the drama while I was doing this. It helped for quite a few reasons. One, I was really interested in kind of the cinematography that they did for those shows. I found it to be really cool. So I was actually still kind of learning stuff and getting inspiration on shots that I can uh, film. But the second thing is, they are extraordinarily long, bro. Like, I don't get what it is. There's 16 episodes and they're like an hour, 20 minutes per episode. What is that? <laughs> How do you make things that are that long? So for day one, what I decided to do was just consume, consume, consume. I mean, I watched like hours. I mean, I watched the first six episodes of Dr. Slump. All right, hour, 20 minutes per. I didn't have anything important to do that day. Day two is when things really started to pick up and when I started noticing the benefits. Day two was also the day that I realized that, yeah, anything is better than scrolling. Day two is when I really started to notice the benefits and one of the main things I noticed especially when comparing scrolling to watching the TV show, which was Dr. Slump, was just the amount of value that I was gaining watching the show versus just scrolling endlessly. Initially, Dr. Slump was just kind of like my entertainment value, right? It was only really supposed to be for entertainment. It wasn't really supposed to be about learning anything, but as I started to watch the show, I started to really appreciate the cinematography behind it. You know, I was very used to like action movies that are extremely dark and high contrast, and this show had a very different kind of tone to it. And I actually took that as an opportunity to learn more about how to film and how to set up scenes like that. So whenever I found a scene that I thought was really cool, I would kind of, you know, take a picture of it or something. And I would start to think, okay, where are they putting the lights? Are they using negative fill in certain places? What kind of lens are they using? Or do they have a shallow depth of field? Are they following the rule of thirds, etc.? And this was really cool because it was adding another layer of value on top of the initial layer of value that was it just being something that was fun to watch for me. And that was pretty much it for day two. The only difference that was kind of between day two and day one was that I just kind of toned down how much I was watching. On day one, I tried to just watch as much as I possibly could just to kind of get in my head, okay, psh, this is useless. Like the amount of value that I'm getting out of watching Dr. Slump versus scrolling for an hour and a half, it's like comparing a rock to a mountain. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. That was really that. And I decided instead to fill the time with other things, whether that be scripting, filming a video, going out for walks, stuff like that, just so I could kind of have a lot of activities to do. And that went into day three. Day three is when the realization kicked in. Besides a quick dopamine hit, scrolling offers nothing that you can't already easily get. If I wanted to learn a subject, I could watch a long form video that's going to teach me it with much more detail, or read a book. 
If I wanted to entertain myself, movies and TV shows are there, on top of long-form videos. Even the simple things in life, like just going for a walk, offered more value than scrolling. Once I learned that, the rest was easy. There wasn't even a desire to scroll.